Bonjour, madame et monsieur. <laughs> no, it's true, I'm a Breton. And it's a real privilege to be on the stage as the highest placed Brit in this competition, possibly in 15 years. So it is a real privilege, and I say it very sincerely, to have spent six and a half years living uh, in, in the Netherlands, leading the technology function of this great company, uh, Arhold, originally that became Arhold Deleuze. Maybe one of the things which is less exciting about being a Brit, particularly with this audience at your feet, is uh, to get Brexit done. <laughs> Shall I tell you why it's been so hard to get Brexit done? It's because it's a really bad idea. So if you're going to get the job done, do something sensible. And think about how you get the job done. And this is where I learned to get the job done. In 1984-85, or was it 85-86, it's a long time ago, I can't quite remember, I spent a year as a river guide in the Himalayas, based out of Kathmandu, and uh, we didn't have video cameras in those days, no iPhones. So I stole this video from, uh, from about 2008 uh, on, on YouTube. Uh, and it's a video of a rapid called Harkapur Rapid on the Sunkozi River. And the Sunkozi River flows from the high uh, Langtang Himal uh, down through eastern Nepal to Dharan, where the, the great British Gurkha regiment are based. It takes six days at the beginning of the season and about nine days at the end of the season because you know, you start with a monsoon and you finish just before the monsoon. Uh, and it's an enormously good opportunity for a young person to experience what it's like leading people who are out of their element on a journey of adventure where you don't really know what you're going to find, uh, trying to hit certain goals and, and get to the end of the river. So it's just like running a big ERP program, really, um, or perhaps a digital transformation. And the thing is that uh, if you're doing that, you know, rather like uh, the people who you know, we work with in our CIO roles, the people who we're working for, they earn more money than us, but they, they pay us to hit the milestones, or in this case, hit, uh, hit the wave. And this is, this is the picture of me. This was me in 1984, 85. I'm right at the back of the boat. You can't quite see my head. Uh, but this is how I learned to work with leadership teams of companies in the technology space in a world where they felt very, very uncomfortable. And you complete your ERP journey, you know you get down on the Indian plane, Dharan just off to your left, and you know that you've been wondering for six or nine days whether it was a good idea to be doing what you're doing, but you now know it was because everybody's still alive and you can see a flat world ahead of you. But one of the ways you got things done on the rapids there was before every rapid, you draw a map. Finger in the sand, these are the obstacles. And I apply this in my day job today. You know, we, about three years ago, realized that we really needed to crank up our focus on the digital world. And so we started to think about, well, what are the obstacles? One of the obstacles was, you know, if you write down on a piece of paper everything you know about AI when you've never done anything with AI, you don't have very much written on the paper. So I went away to uh, MIT, I put myself through a, a learning program, and I came up with this framework, a little bit like some of the frameworks that we saw yesterday, about how to navigate digital transformation. And in my uh, plan, I'll kind of click them up, really what I felt was we've been doing a lot with data and digital for many, many years. We knew, really needed to scrutinize what we'd been doing and saying, how is it working? Where was it not working? We needed to educate our people so that they understood what this was all about. Create real focus on the key things that we wanted to succeed our first endeavors. Build the ecosystem of partners, you know, whether it's Microsoft or Google or EPAM, all of these different organizations. We need to invest differently in the network so that we were capturing and keeping data. We needed to have new places to store the data in, in the cloud. We needed to engage the customer in the developer, the proposition that they were seeking to use. And finally, 
we need to build our own capability. It wasn't a sort of a, a start, uh, you know, we start at one and work our way through, it was all of them. And by building this story with our leadership team, we started to make good progress. I mean, the uh, project that I have here, uh, at Zandam, we have a big mechanized distribution center, very exciting, there's a man walking towards me. And, um, you know, that is one example of something we started a while ago and is going quite well. On top of that, all sorts of different things we've done, innovation centers, our propulsion labs, mini robots, et cetera, et cetera. We believe we've achieved a lot, uh, but we're fairly modest. We've an awful lot more to do than we've started. Mr. Ben Wissett, thank you so much.